Hi, I'm Tara Crank from Dryad Bushcraft. I'm here today with Koi Tlail from the Smallwoods Association to show you how to make high quality string from nettles. Nettle string is strong and flexible, making it suitable for a range of applications. Bring with you some secateurs or something else sharp like a knife to cut the stems and a tea towel to protect your hands or a pair of gardening gloves. And let's go. To find nettles, look along woodland edges and the edges of paths. They love nutrient rich soil, so agricultural land and areas of waste are ideal. Here, I'm by a woodland and next to a path, so as you can see, it is ideal for nettles. There's loads here. I'm going to pick this one because it is over one metre tall, which is the ideal height. And it's June now, but you can look from the end of May onwards to the end of summer. I'm going to wrap my hand in this tea towel to protect it. You may have seen in the nettle crisps video that I pick the tops with my fingers, but um, I find that the, the spines are a little bit tougher and I'm going to stick my hand into a patch of lots of nettles so I'm not going to have as much control so it's good to protect yourself with something and you'll notice I'm wearing long sleeves and long trousers too for this. Grab your nettle and cut it as far down the stem as you can. go. Now I'm going to show you how to remove the outer fibres from the nettle so that we can dry them out and then make them into cordage. First of all get the base of your nettle and use your tea towel to rub all the extra hairs off so that you've got somewhere to hold it and you won't get stung. Then grab the stem firmly and just pull all the way up to the top. Like that. If there are any extra leaves on there, you can pinch them off using your fingers. And always go in an upwards direction so that you're not going to damage the outside of the stem. There we go. And then get your tea towel and just rub gently up the stem. The next stage is to split the stem and open it like a book. I'm going to use my knife to do this. You don't need a sharp knife, you can use a butter knife for this. So I'm going to go to the bottom of the stem, insert the end of my knife into one of the knots and just wiggle it in and you can see it starts to open up. As the stem opens up you'll be able to use your thumbs to just split it open like that. and you'll hear this lovely noise as you go up. Did you hear that? And split it all the way to the top. I like to take a minute now to flatten it down just like you would a new book. But we're trying not to snap anything um, lengthways because we need these fibres to be intact. So it's all flattened out and it still holds itself together. I'm going to start from the bottom, come and have a look at this up close. I'm going to find a node, a growth node, this is where the leaves come out. And I'm going to go just under it and snap like that. Then I'm going to use the snapped end to push upwards and you can see these woody fibres here. The woody fibres are called sclerenchyma and those are what gives the plant support structure. So we're going to take those off because we just want the flexible part on the outside, the bast and the phloem. And then I'm going to move up to the next node, snap and push 
up, pull off the sclerenchyma, that woody bit, find the next node, snap, push up, and it's just repetitive from there. You just snap, push up, and keep going all the way to the top. Hang up your nettles somewhere with a good air supply in order to dry for two to four hours. We want to partially dry them, not fully dry them, because retaining a bit of moisture means that they're going to be flexible enough to make into strong cordage, whereas if they're dry, they're going to get brittle. So two to four hours is ideal. If it's a hot day, two is going to be fine. If it's a rainy grey day like it is today, uh, four hours is probably closer to what you'll need. I've had these fibres hung up for about four hours now. They still move around quite comfortably, but they've shrunk quite a lot already. And that's a good thing because that means that they won't shrink once we've already made the string. I'm gonna split mine in half. And if you want to make a continuous length of cord, put them together so that the ends are staggered. But I'm gonna make a fixed length of cord. So I'm gonna match up the thick end of one nettle to the thin end of the other nettle so that it's a continuous thickness the whole way through. Find the middle and lick your fingers. It helps to have moist fingers for this. For a bit of grip now, come in and have a look closely at what I do. I'm going to start twisting towards myself with my right hand and away from myself with my left hand. So essentially you're just twisting in opposite directions. And you'll see that it starts to go from being very separate fibres to looking kind of like a, a pipe. Once you've done about five centimetres, you can put your hands closer together and you'll see it forms a nice loop. Put the loop onto a twig. You can get someone else to hold this or you can find a friend here to hold it for you. and then you continue twisting in the same directions. I'm gonna twist my top piece and then wrap it under. I'm gonna, again, twist the top piece and then wrap it under. Twist the top piece again, wrap it under, and just continue doing this the whole way down. Twist, wrap, twist, wrap, twist. You can see it's already starting to look like string. And as my friend Pete says, if it looks like string, it is string. Depending what you're using the cord for, you can either let go and leave it as you get to the end where you want to stop, or you can tie it in an overhand knot, so just make a loop, cross it over itself, and then stick the end through the loop. There we have the final piece of cord. and I'm gonna tie it on my lovely camera person, Stefan. Thank you. In my culture, we have a celebration called Rakshabandhan, which is the celebration of the love for your brother. And you tie a bracelet like this onto your brother. Thank you for watching this video. I'm Tara Crank. If you want to see more like this, have a look at the rest of the Koi Tlail channel. And uh, if you liked it, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.